Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. But if you're an OG. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. To Boundless. <laughs> Good evening. Now we are back in my workshop slash storage. I am in the current building stage of, um, well, everything, everything. Let's just say everything. I am in the planning stage of my color storage. I am going to work on my portion of the, the massive wall build that's going up in our um, guild settlement, HOD, Harpengers of Death. And um, I'm also currently working on the storage up here in, of course, Cyber City down at the bottom there that you can see so lovely. Um, I did get a few things done. I I'll show you. Now I did stream some Boundless on Twitch for a little while. I'm not too, too much. Um, I'm not too great at streaming Boundless. It might be something that I might try again in the near future, we'll see. Um, but things like Hidden Gems or um, Storage Wars, which I haven't done in a while, um, I will more than likely do a recording of, just because um, commentary is a big deal for me, um, and I'm just not able to concentrate on that while I'm trying to entertain uh, people in the chat. So anyways, this is the apartment that is above um, Another building, I'm still working on this. So please excuse the mess, as they say. This is gonna be another area that I'm gonna build up. And around here, I've just got this lit up a little bit so I can see exactly where I'm going. But this is obviously a bridge going across. Um, I'm thinking about doing some like advertising signs here. Um, and of course, we're gonna build through here. So this is gonna be multi-layer. And um, I'm not sure what I wanna do here. I think I kinda wanna tear this down. Um, this just looks, kind of blah so I might tear this down and um, make another building here we'll see uh, what I plan on doing there so that is the update on the building oh I guess I can show you the apartment building from the front this is the apartment building from the front right next door you can see the apples the dead apple store that's been broken into um, and yes of course we kept the theme of uh, big brother is watching kind of thing pixel tech I, ip tech that's the name of the phone but pixel tech is watching and uh, my plan is to make um a massive tower above ground kind of like my biff tower but it'll be pix tower so that is in the planning stages as well um but you can see that i have got a few things going i also have a store um, that I'm working on and I'll go and show you that real quick before we get into the actual video. I know, I know. This might be a little bit longer than normal. I do have something to show you guys. I think it's, I think you'll like it. I think you'll, you'll think it's pretty cool. I did, I did, I thought it was pretty cool. So anyway, here is, um, I am on Planet That's Good. This is the mall here that's going up. This is my store, oh, this is the back of the store. She is thick, y'all, she's thick. She is, she's a little squat, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. But yeah, this is Fantasia 2.0, um, Fantasia in DK Mall. I um, reclaimed her and brought it here. Uh, right now I'll be selling pies because your girl is broke <laughs> in this game um, and I can't afford to make concrete right now, but I will be working on my farm there uh, for kindling and such. But here we go. This is my store. It's quite empty. Nothing really uh, is available for sale. This is kind of like just for looks. And of course, there'll be stuff down here. Please don't judge my sign. More downstairs. I realize there is nothing down here quite yet except some stuff that I have stored. Other than that, there's nothing here. So uh, for those of you, <clears throat> I'm not going to say any names, pointing fingers, or any elbows that are judging me according to the sign. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All right, so uh, judging from my little intro, you can probably tell that I have something special for you. Now, I do want to show you around uh, this really cool place that I was told about by the Christos, Alex Christo and his lovely uh, fiance, uh, 
whose name I don't recall. Forgive me, please forgive me. Charge it to my head, not my heart, but um, I'm not great with names. But um, I want to show you guys this place. So uh, let's head out. Now, there are two ways to get there. You can go through GTG and run through the portals until you get to um, Nor Nork, Norkania, Norkenia, whatever. Or uh let me see there was another place we can go through here we can go through shed or we can go through tnt tnt is probably the the most the quickest way to get there um because here's shed a tier right shed a tier for me let me check my portal real quick playing it fantasia i want to make sure that she's still alive and kicking okay yeah she's fine she's fine she's fine all right so alcyon let's go okay Galen. All right. A little slow on the. All right. McRib. Mmm. A McRib sandwich. Sounds deliciously unhealthy. All right. Um. Huru. Huru. Hoches. Hoches is like my favorite tea to explain it besides Fantasia. And then Norkina or Ni Norkina. Right? So you, you move. You. Uh, am I in the right? Oh, you guys, it is not on this planet. It's on Kuhuru. <laughs> Kuhuru? It's right here, I think. Yeah, it is. I gave you wrong directions. Please don't listen to pics. Please do not listen to me. I obviously do not know where I'm going, okay? So it's right here, Feather Falls. Um, again, you can go through GTG and run through um, and hit up um, Kuhuru or the T6 portals. I'm sorry. You go through the T6 portal and then you just keep going straight through all the portals so you get to uh, Kuhuru. Don't ask me why I'm saying it like that. Okay. And then you'll see Feather Falls. So we're going to go through. Now there's going to be some people standing around. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. They're doing stuff and things. All right. Welcome to Feather Falls. This is. Uh, HSC slash GTG, you, your illustrious Alex Cristo is standing here, probably collecting a few things. All right, so you're probably wondering what's going on here. First of all, take it all in, you guys. Look at the architecture of this place. Every single detail was carefully carefully planned out i actually i do not know if it was um watching alex build a little bit yesterday makes me think that he kind of has what he well he obviously knows what he wants to do oh there's an exoplanet look how distracted i can get y'all let me okay um he obviously knows what he wants to do but the details the final details it seems to he looks at a block and says, okay, I can do a little bit more to this block to make it look better. So I kind of gave me a little build lesson, little tips and tricks that maybe uh, will help me improve my own building skills because y'all know I build fancy boxes, okay? Um, this obviously is more than a little bit of a fancy box. Um, but yeah, there is a purpose for this inverted pyramid here and um, I will be showing you that. But Feather Falls is a glorious build um, by the Cristos and um, right outside this beautifully arched doorway, um, is this up and coming town or city that you are more than welcome as I was told by them to build so definitely come here and plot it out wherever and build to your heart's content um, and help this city grow obviously Kuhuru is a dangerous place to build but this seems to be up far enough where uh, you won't really see any things spawning but um, let me tell you something this is quite a fall. This is quite a fall. And this is an angry planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we are uh, in the city. I guess this is the, I'm not really, okay, this is Feather Falls town, I'm assuming. Um, and there's some really cool builds around here, like this green and black building here. That's really cool. This is really cool. I love the shape of this. It's so odd. And then we've got some really, uh, interesting architecture coming this way a little uh, Greek Rome 
deal and I wanted to get over here because I saw this from afar and never really got close to it. These look like uh, Ortiens or as I like to call them, Utinis. I think this is awesome looking. Go down these steps. I want to be careful before I lose my life here. All right, so we're gonna head back into uh, the main building of Featherfall. Like, check this out. So he is still in the process of building, but um, he has done a little work today, yesterday, um, as of yesterday. But man, let me tell you, this this building is grand, and it is going to be tall. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's go back in, and let me show you the secrets of Feather Falls. Yes, shall we? Oh, look at the chandelier. Look at this. So he's trying to decide which one of these chandeliers he should go with. I'm gonna tell you right now, I love them both. This one happens to be my favorite over here. I'm not gonna lie. I want to try to mimic this somewhere. The disrespect of the connect, really. Um, I kind of want to mimic this, but um, I do not have the the chisel know-how to do so. But um, I can look and admire from afar. I love both of these, and I think he could do both of these um, in, in the build somewhere. Okay, so, ooh, look at this. All right, so why are they standing here looking up into nowhere? Let me show you. All right, so this right here is um, a mob spawner. This building is a massive mo uh, mob spawner. And let me see if I can get into these doors. I think he left these doors open for me. Yes. No. <laughs> this is not the place. This is not the place. Uh, there was another part of the build. Okay, maybe maybe I'm missing something. I'm probably missing. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So maybe... Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So first things first. Let's go down here. This is an arena that is in the working. Um, Alex has great plans for this area. He wants to add more activities to the game um, for more player interaction. And obviously um, people want to socialize in the game. There are a lot of new people that get into the game and get lost um, because no one comes around and they quit. Um, one of the main reasons why I even stayed in the game was because of the social aspect. And then the fact that I like to be creative and build. Um, I'm not extremely great in it and I know some of you will probably come for me in the comments and say otherwise but I'm just not um, I happen to have like a, a vivid imagination about certain things um, and I like to create stories because I'm a writer so um, a lot of times my builds have stories have background stories cyber city does have a background story and I believe I've already shared that with you some of the lore that I have going on um, but anyway so that being said, um, he wants to add more games and activities. So much, your robots in here. So many activities. This is going to be an arena. He's working at what well, is an arena. He's working on it. Um, so it is a whip. And so he did want me to show you guys this and just to let you know that there's lots of things to look forward to in this build and it's not just a one trick pony here um, i'm really excited about this because i'm looking forward to having some new games and some interactions with people old and new because you know i'm in my hole a lot of times when i when i get to play boundless and i don't really interact with a lot of people except for people in my guild and some people that dare to come around i don't know why you guys don't come visit i don't bite you know i'm just little old picks i don't i you know I'm nobody, really, I'm nobody, okay? So um, anyway, so this is the mob farm and the way it works, and I'm not really sure I'm gonna explain this right or do this justice, but they're standing here because the mobs spawn above this um, inverted um, pyramid and they slide down in here through this hole into the lava and you come over here with your trusty dusty looter and uh, yeah, you pull. All right, so how do we do this? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, so we're gonna go through these portals here. See, he's got these uh, nicely marked. You're gonna go through here, and this is called the bird cage. So in this bird cage, there's several levels. Um, and if I go through here, this is the bottom level. Uh, you can see there's a few above. Now, um, what the whole point here is to take your grapple 
Uh, okay, there aren't any mobs out here. At least not down here. Okay, so um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up, uh, up here. This is the tippy top. And here are some mobs here. And we're going to, ooh, I don't wanna get too close. Listen, whew, stomach just fell out my mouth. Okay, and then we're gonna pull those down and they're gonna slide all the way down in that hole down there. And then people who are standing below with their looters will um, get all the loots, see? And people will take turns coming up here and pulling things down. I'm just, you know, doing a little, a little something, something. Now you can go through um, each of the floors and multiple people can be doing this at one time because there's several layers here. Now he's plotted around this natural, um, this natural uh, rock and sand formation. Uh, so you can, you know, go in here, hammer it and re gin it and, and you know it'll stay like this um but um yeah so these spawn naturally and i'm gonna just gonna pull a couple more in here looking for some road runners but i don't see any but plenty of road runners actually spawn here he did say that at one point he collected like 200 feathers just standing here um you know and so if you are looking for a safer way to get some um some mats for brews, pies, for um, forging, come here. You know, if you're just single, solo, dolo, and don't want to risk it all trying to hunt on a T6 um, by yourself, like I don't, um, come here, come here. Um, I don't want to go any further than this, but these bars kind of help you uh, stay safe. You can actually fall, I think, but you will slide down. Um, I don't know if you'll die. I don't know if you'll die. Now, um, sometimes spawns don't uh, actually show up and you can always reset it by um, hopping down here. Let's stay in the middle here. Don't use your grapple because you'll you know ruin your grapple. But you can come through here to reset. You can go through these portals, reset, um, and come back out uh, or like go through here. This is where, this is the, the portal to back to this room. See where they fell here, see? They fell through here, they, and the bodies came here. I'm just gonna loot. Everybody standing here will get the loot, and there's that. All right, so now we're gonna go back through here, and I wanna show you how this actually works. So we're gonna go through the ring here. Now, listen up, this is dangerous. Only professionals should come through these doors. That does not include me, I am not a professional, but I am going to slide my little tail down this area very very carefully because you could fall through here and you know bob's your uncle you're dead you just did okay so right there is the bird cage you saw in the middle that where we were before and down here is where all the the mobs fall into this inverted this is the inside of the inverted pyramid okay and then they slide into oh look he didn't go all the way in let me do him a little bit of a favor and pull his butt into the hole. Oh, oh ma'am. Oh sir. Oh sir. Oh, no, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. I thought he was going to come after me. <laughs> I did. I thought he was coming after me. I was like, oh gosh, we're about to duke it out on this, um, this slide and this ice. So yeah, it, um, it, listen, I am not giving you the full rundown of this place because I'm giving you like the layman's version of the explanation of how this thing works. There's plenty of math and science of, you know, the game, game mechanics that went into this build. It wasn't just, oh, I'm just going to build this and see if this works. No, he actually thought this out. And um, this was a kind of a... Um, a project that he has been working on since he started playing, I think. And it's come to fruition here um, at this stage. And like I said, he is constantly adding on. So this is a, uh, I want to know what the prestige on this thing is. I'm just curious as to what is the prestige. So this looks like there's going to be another um, portal. Okay, so back through. 
Uh, so that's the ring. This is up to go all the way up here. And like I said, there's different floors you can hop down so everyone's not pulling at the same level. Um, oh, there's some road runners over there. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Let's do everybody a favor and pull these road runners down. Can I even reach them? Yes, I can. Woo, don't pull me down, don't pull me down. Whew. I'm telling you, I am like, okay, I can get him, I can get him. Oh, there we go. They have no chance. They have absolutely no chance to run. I'm gonna leave you alone. All right, so like I said, there are several layers. If you find there's you know one too many people up here um, or there's no mobs up here or whatever, you can hop down to these individual levels or um, areas and just use these doors here so you don't uh, fall because this is dangerous up here. Um, you could die. I, I, I've seen Alex do it. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. All right, so um, yeah, so here they are standing here, chilling um, and uh, reaping the the harvest that I have uh, harvested. I don't know. All right, so yeah, first of all, like I said, gorgeous build. I am in awe. Like, listen, everybody that's part of HSE, you know, hands down, they're talented builders they really really are uh you almost have to be um a builder to be in that guild i would never even think about opening my mouth to join hse okay all right um all right so now he did tell me that you're more than welcome to open a portal here um obviously if you want to uh come here on a daily basis you can it's easier just to open up a portal um obviously where depending where you live um you may need to make up ask for a bigger portal um but if you do not want to do that you can always like i said come through the ggg portal system or um, tnt portal system it's a little bit easier for me to run through tnt because you know i'm picks i'm picks okay all right so um i think i think that's all i really have to say about it we spent about an hour talking about this um i don't quite remember everything oh i do want to say that uh, you can accidentally fall out of the building or die you probably will die at some point maybe um if you're me you might die you will probably spawn down here or respawn down here now he's got it set up that each side has doors and these little um white gleam blocks are kind of a grappling point for you so it'll actually bring you up on this platform if you grapple up and then you can walk safely back through these doors and bob's your uncle your back in, in the business, okay? All right, so you guys, come to here to Feather Falls. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous building. Even if you wanna just check it out, but come here, hang out, chit chat um, while you farm for goodies. Let me see if I got some goodies. Yeah, I got a couple things, I got a couple things. Um, obviously, you wanna stay here a little bit longer than I did, um, but yeah, come and take a gander. Give this guy some of your footfall but just um give him some some um kudos he and his his fiance and let's support one another in this game we call it, that we love to play called boundless um and yeah all right guys i've been pixelated twix i hope you enjoyed this um this hidden gem as i want to call it and i hope to see you guys again soon until next time she is luna shell Ciao.